uh, relate to me the most. I would say listening and passion. Um, I think that it is very important to have um, the skill of being able to listen to people and have um, you know compassion for them um, because I think it's that's who you are essentially leading is somebody else and being able to connect with that person on a personal level will then in turn um, lead to a greater success of you leading that person or those people so being able to um, relate, listen, have passion for people is something that is very important for me so I can effectively lead people. Okay, I'm good. Okay. So if I'm going to think about what a, a good leader should have most of, I would believe that that would be the problem solving in relationships. Because if I, if you can't, if you don't have the ability to build relationships with people, um, it's very hard to be successful. And problem solving is another good key attribute because a lot of times leaders have to come up with solutions or help lead people to solutions. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, if you don't have problem solving skills to do that, you're not always going to be successful at that. So part of being a key leader for me is not actually doing all the work, but leading people to be. Um, successful in doing the work too. Mm -hmm. So, Go ahead. All right. The qualities that stand out for me are character and charisma. I feel character is important when it comes to team sports, um, actually any activity, uh, for the fact that character shows what kind of individual someone is. Charisma shows their passion, their drive, their want to do better. Um, but this character always is a part that I think is the best when it comes to athletes and even when it comes to fine arts in the way that students are able to express themselves and able to show their their actual their character the person they are and the qualities they hold and the qualities they have learned throughout maybe their own life um, through family friends and each, even the teaching staff the characters um, character qualities come out so character and charisma, I feel, are very important qualities. I would say the quality that stands out to me the most is listening and passion. Because if you don't listen, then you can't learn. And how are you going to know what's going on if you don't listen? And passion you have to have in your life, not just in school, but in everything that you do. Because if you don't, then it really doesn't mean anything. It's like. You can't do something you don't care about and expect it to be 100%. Yeah, with this, I can relate to competence and courage the most. Uh, courage is definitely important in leadership. If you don't have courage, you can't speak up. And if you can't speak up, you definitely can't lead people. Um, courage is also important because it takes courage to not act um, as a leader. You, sometimes you need to restrain and let the people that you're leading um, take responsibility as well for your project or activity. Um, and then I think confidence, competence is also very important because you need to know what you're talking about. You need to know the, um, you need to know the opinions of the group that you're working with and <laughs> yeah. So, I guess the thing that would be most important to me for leadership would be self-confidence because if you don't have self-confidence, how are you going to lead a group of people? And I think that that would probably mean the most to me. Hi, um, my name is Kendall, and so previously I just watched um, me show you a bunch of videos of my teachers, classmates, um, all the people that I interviewed were, um, you know, principals, teachers that have uh, um, really been big leaders, and um, the kids that I interviewed were kids of sports and um, leaders in my school that I really respected, so I really hope you enjoyed what they had to say. The that stands out to me the most when um, talking to other people um, would be problem solving and relationships. Uh, I really believe that the relationships that you have with the people that you're working with, um, dealing with on a regular basis, are really important whether you like them or not. And um, the relationships that you make can uh, 
help you or hurt you. And so um, if somebody is trying to work with me and problem solve with me, that I really appreciate that even though there's differences between us and I'm really willing to work with those people and when I see other people doing that I think it's really cool and I respect them a lot for it because um, you know we're all different it's that's that's what it is but um, if everybody can really bond together on the things that they're working on together that's that's your one common um, that's the thing that you have in common so if you can use that to solve problems, use your differences to make something up really cool. I I think that's cool. So um, people that are willing to to create something, I I think it's awesome. The quality that I feel that I can relate to is listening and passion. I'm a really passionate person. I everything that I do I love full heartedly and uh, I people are my passion I would have to say um, so getting to like talk to people and listen to what they have to say and let them know that I'm listening to them and like they feel wanted and is I think is really important and uh, my dad always refers to this picture he owns a business and it's a picture of a guy sitting at a desk and there's ropes connected to it and he, the guy is sitting at the desk and he's pointing and he's furious, he looks like he's yelling and the and the people working for him are just pulling, pulling really hard and the picture underneath it is of a desk, same thing, desk with ropes and the people pulling but at, instead, um, to the, compared to the first one, the guy isn't standing or sitting at the desk, he's at the front of the rope, pushing, and I think that uh, when you listen to people, you show them that you're right there beside them working together, you know, working together, that's well, that's where you're winning, you're, you're gonna win, even if you don't get what you want out of the things that you're trying to create or do, you're gonna win, you're, you just are, so.